The Sinking of the Titanic, 1912. The luxury British passenger liner, RMS Titanic, began construction on March 31, 1909 in the Harland & Wolfe shipyard in Belfast, Ireland, and was completed three years later in 1912. As one of three Olympic-class ocean liners, it was designed to be the largest luxury passenger ship in the world and would cost $7.5 million to build. It had a length of 882 feet 9 inches, or 269.1 meters, a height of 175 feet, or 53.3 meters, and a width of 92 feet 6 inches, or 28 meters, and it weighed 46,328 tons. Below the waterline was the orlop decks for cargo, and the tank top where the engines, boilers, turbines, and electrical generators were. At the very top was the boat deck, where the bridge and wheelhouse were, as well as the lifeboats. In between were the decks for passengers with first, second, and third class cabins. The level of luxury was so high that second class was comparable to first class on any other ship. The 2,240 passengers would be from all walks of life, from millionaires and celebrities to poor emigrants looking for a better life in America. The ship would act like a floating hotel, featuring a grand staircase which allowed first-class passengers to move from deck to deck and had a dome skylight to allow natural light in. The ship also featured a gymnasium, dining saloons, a reading room, a barber shop, a squash court, a Turkish bath, and a swimming pool. The ship carried 20 out of a possible 64 lifeboats. Therefore, there were only enough for half the ship's population. However, this was within legal requirements. Lifeboats were only intended for carrying passengers to rescue ships and not keep the entire ship population afloat. As a result, the company who owned the Titanic, White Star Line, felt complacent enough to keep the number of lifeboats low so the deck wasn't cluttered. Many claimed the Titanic was unsinkable because its hull was divided into 16 watertight compartments. It was said that if up to four of these flooded, the ship would still stay buoyant. All of these qualities drew the press to frequently talk about the new passenger liner. Disaster In the morning of April 10, 1912, passengers began boarding the Titanic in Southampton, England, with large crowds gathering to watch the ship depart. At noon, the Titanic set sail under command of Captain Edward Smith, beginning her maiden voyage. It would stop at Cherbourg, France, and then Queenstown, Ireland, to pick up more passengers, and then began its journey across the North Atlantic Ocean towards New York City. On April 14, 1912, warnings were coming in of icebergs from other liners, so Captain Smith had plotted a new course and continued to steam at full speed, which was standard practice. As it became dark, the temperatures were dropping to below freezing, and there was no moonlight or waves, making it difficult to see approaching icebergs. At 11.40 p.m. ship's time, the ship's lookout, Frederick Fleet, spotted an iceberg from the crow's nest. He rang the warning bell and telephoned the officers at the ship's bridge, shouting, Iceberg right ahead! Fleet had spotted the iceberg with his eyes, as the crow's nest binoculars were locked away. The key's owner, Officer David Blair, had been removed from the Titanic's crew at the last minute and forgot to hand over the key. The officers on the bridge quickly turned the ship away from the iceberg, but it was too late. The Titanic grazed the iceberg along its side, ripping several holes in its hull below the waterline, with fragments of ice hitting the deck. At first, everyone felt relief. The lookouts and the passengers didn't even feel the collision. 11.50 p.m. Captain Smith and the ship architect, Thomas Andrews, went to inspect the damage. They knew the ship would start sinking, and by this time, six of the watertight compartments at the front of the ship's hull were already breached and began flooding. 12 a.m. The captain sent out a distress call over the radio in the hopes that there were other ships nearby and gave the order for the Titanic's passengers to board the lifeboats. He knew there were only enough for half the population of the Titanic. At 12.25, the lifeboats began their loading, with women and children first, as this was the protocol at sea. Many passengers still did not understand what was going on, and confusion and disorganization meant that the first lifeboat to leave had only 28 women and children aboard, when it could carry 65 people. First Officer Murdoch took the order to mean women and children first, then men if they were there. 
while Second Officer Lightoller took it to mean women and children only. The Carpathia, which was 58 miles away, heard the distress call and began sailing towards the sinking Titanic to rescue the passengers. Distress flares were shot into the sky to help locate the sinking Titanic. By 1 a.m., with the lower decks flooding, the bow of the ship began to sink below the water's surface. Water was pouring in 15 times faster than it could be pumped out, which was not helped by the fact that many of the passengers had left their portholes open. The unsupported stern and its propellers rose out of the water into the air. Panic and chaos set in as lifeboats were running out. Some people pushed their way to the lifeboats, while others accepted their fate and stayed behind or gave up their spots to more vulnerable passengers. Many did not want to survive the disaster and be branded a coward back home. By 2.05 a.m., the last lifeboat had left, but 1,500 people were left on the ship. The deck was now at a steep height, and many passengers fell into the freezing icy waters. At 2.17 a.m., the captain announced every man for himself. The stern gave way under the pressure and broke off, with the front half disappearing to the bottom of the ocean. At some point, Captain Smith went down with the ship, a maritime tradition that the captain would do in accepting responsibility for all on board. Some say he went to the wheelhouse and waited for the end, while others say he committed suicide using a pistol. The stern, smashing into the water's surface, became level and soon started to fill with water, sinking nearly four kilometers beneath the surface of the ocean. Many died as a result of drowning but the main cause of death was hypothermia in the freezing waters which occurred within minutes. Some of the lifeboats returned, but only four survivors were found. At 3.30 a.m., the distress flares from the Titanic were spotted by the Carpathia. The Carpathia arrived to the scene at 4.10 a.m. and picked up the lifeboats. Only 705 passengers would survive the disaster, with over 1,500 people losing their lives. Subscribe and click the notification bell for more history videos. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing. And thank you for being part of this amazing community. Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back once again in my class. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine at your home. My dear students, today we are going to start our new chapter, Chapter 9, The Titanic. In this chapter, we will study about a ship, Titanic. Many of you must have seen the 1997 film, Titanic. It was directed by James Cameron. The film is based on the ill-fate ship, the RMS Titanic, which sank after it hit uh, an iceberg killing over a thousand people. Now we are going to read about this ship Titanic. Read on to find out more fact about the ship. So let's start. Here you can see the picture of Titanic is shown on your screen. The RMS Titanic was the largest and the most luxurious passenger ship of its time. The ship was built with a 16 watertight compartment on the hull of the ship with doors that would close if water entered them, which was supposed to keep the Titanic afloat. This was why the Titanic was considered unsinkable. Now here, the RMS Titanic was the largest and the luxurious passenger ship of its time. It was very, very fam famous. It was very, very luxurious passenger ship of its time. And the ship was built with 16 watertight compartment 
on the hull of the ship with door and that would close if water entered inside the titanic and which was supposed to keep the titanic a float this was why the titanic was considered unsinkable unsinkable they cannot be sink in the water inside the water titanic was considered unsinkable now here the picture of ark is shown 1 2 3 4 5 6 now the next the entire ship measured 882 feet and 9 inches in length 92 feet 6 inches in breadth and 175 in height my dear students here you know the entire ship the titanic the largest and the most luxurious passenger ship that is titanic was measured the entire ship measured 882 feet and 9 inches in length 92 feet 6 inches in breadth and 175 feet in height how big it was you can see you can imagine now the titanic was very well stocked and had everything her passenger could need on board including a daily newspaper called the atlantic daily bulletin it includes news advertisement stock price horse racing results society gossips and the daily menu you can see my dear students the titanic was like as your city it was made like that that the titanic was very well stocked that everything was there if anybody if any passenger could need on board whatever including daily newspaper and at that time there was a bulletin uh, newspaper called atlantic daily bulletin now here and also it include newspaper and advertisement everything is was available on titanic at that time and as well as stock prices horse racing results society gossips and the daily menu everything was available at that time on titanic ship now all the images of the titanic show the ship having four funnel four funnels you can see here 1 2 3 4 funnels 1 2 3 4 4 funnels however only three of these funnels would release the steam from the boilers while the fourth was just for show here you can see my dear students 1 2 3 4 funnels are shown on titanic but only three funnels was work at that time two release the steam from the boilers while the fourth part fourth one was just for show they don't work at all only for show so the designer of the ship thought the ship would look more expressive with the fourth funnel instead of three that's why the uh, the designer designed one more funnel with three because he thought the ship would uh, look more expressive with the fourth funnel instead of three now after that starting from the time the look out sounded the iceberg alert the officers on the bridge had only 37 seconds to react before the ship hit the iceberg they immediately ordered the ship to turn left and to put the engine in reserve but it was too late now this is the story when the iceberg hit the titanic ship starting from the time the lookouts sounded the iceberg alert the officers on the bridge had only 37 second to react before the ship hit the iceberg 
immediately they immediately ordered the ship to turn left turn left and to put the engine in reserve but it was too late my dear student it was too late then after that the rms titanic struck an iceberg at 11:40 pm on 14th april 1912 it took the ship almost 3 hours to sink she sank into the atlantic around 2:20 am on 15th april 1912 it was the date when the titanic sank into the atlantic ocean the rms titanic struck an iceberg at 11:40 pm on 14th april 1912 and it took the ship almost 3 hours to sink in the atlantic ocean now she sank into the atlantic uh, ocean around 2:20 am on 15th april 1912 here my dear student you can see the images now the last one the total number of people aboard the titanic was 2224 and the number of survivors was just over 700 you can see how many numbers of people were died at the titanic ship the total number of people aboard the titanic was 2224 and the number of survivor was just over 700 my dear students uh, this was the story of the titanic ship this was the largest and the most luxurious passenger ship of its time we have studied today i hope you all have understood this story and this chapter very well now i'm going to stop here i want to inform you one thing that please do comment in the comment section for your attendance it is mandatory to everyone please do it and learn your read your chapter once again chapter 9 the titanic at your home i'm going to stop here thank you so much god bless you